Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today because I am at an event called Vid Summit. And it's basically a creator's event, influencers, and just people from around the world that work on different platforms from YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, a little bit of everything, man. It is just insane. But there's so much happening right now in the economy. And one thing that's crazy right now is we're hearing more and more about banking problems where the banks are limiting people's cash. Before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the uh, like button. Please subscribe to the channel. But here's the thing. Every time I talk about people trying to take cash out of the bank, we have nothing but problems that we run into. And I ran into somebody who's absolutely fantastic. And it's Chris. Uh, from Financial Prepper. Hey, How are you? Hey, everybody. <laughs> so Chris runs a channel called Financial Prepper. And uh, Chris just had an issue with the bank and said, oh, Dan, I want to tell you a story that happened to my wife today. So your wife's in Louisiana, is that right? Yes, we live in North Louisiana. And she contacted me today, said she was going to the bank to get money, and they didn't have it. Well, this is uh, something we talk about on my channel quite often. Uh, just happened to Ninja and one of his friends. And it's odd that it happened today. I was actually coming to meet Dan uh, at this uh, convention. And uh, it's like, wow, it's really starting to unfold in, in so, real time in but, history. We're but she needed history. five grand and they that's didn't awesome. have $5,000 in the bank. Nope. That's, now, the, that's the point. Yeah. It, it's just absolutely crazy, guys. And again, if this does not concern you, if this does not worry you, if you're not thinking that, hey, wait a second, something's up. $5,000 in the bank, and then they had to schedule it to come back to get the money. So, I mean, it's just crazy, you know? Yeah, and what it could be, and this is me speculating, I don't know, I wasn't there, but it could be uh, people are seeing what's going on overseas. They're seeing what's going on in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, and they're saying, hey, I, I should probably get some money out of the bank. That's what uh, a lot of us are doing. Well, here, here's the thing. If, and we've covered this, I've covered this since the first of the year. If 1% of all of us went and took all their money out of the bank, 1%, it would be a complete bank run that would completely destroy the banking system here in the United States. I think if everybody went to get their money, oh. it would, they'd get like 230 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay guys, so as we're trying to do this, hey, how are you? So as we're, um, you know, uh, working through this stuff, this is happening around the country. It's happening in Louisiana. You're seeing it with your business. We're seeing it here. The other thing is that, you know, um, you know, the hurricane right now, you know, God bless those people right now that are going through this in Florida. But one thing that we're seeing is we're seeing uh, insurance levels, the uh, price of homeowners insurance go through the roof. People that would spend uh, $1,700 a month, uh, $1,700 a year last year, just got hit with $7,000 assessment. I've oh, gotten all man. these emails today about this. Are you guys starting to see crazy things like that with finances and, and uh, you know, in your economy? Uh, we're starting... Uh, I was just telling you earlier, uh, we are selling three of our rental properties that uh, passed appraisal uh, inspection today. Uh, that's I'm, I'm moving out of that market, scaling back, paying off some. And so it seems like it's everything's getting tied. Everything. And what you just said about the insurance. People but these like, are people with no claims. You have to understand, it's not like they had an earthquake. It's not like they had a fire. Sure. It's not like wind damage. They had no claims. And one woman said, we've had no claims for 18 years and our, and our uh, policy is going to go through the roof. These are the things that people have to worry about that you can't prepare for. You know, you, you know, it's, it's terrible. Well, this is signs of inflation, correct? Yeah, because, absolutely. Because how much is it going to cost to rebuild that house? You know, it, it, it's outrageous right now. Can't it? find labor. Uh, wages aren't keeping up with inflation and it, it's just trickling down to the insurance company. Yeah, it's absolutely, there's so much to it right now. But I, I really appreciate you telling me the story because, you know, I'll absolutely. bring Chris back tomorrow and uh, uh, talk, interview him more, you know, with his financial prepping because regardless of where you guys are in the country, in the world, everybody needs to get ready right now. You need to be ready for this because if you don't think that things are getting, you know, I, the uh, a CNN issues a report and says that, Consumers are feeling more confident about the economy. That's an absolute lie. If you talk to anybody in this room, everybody's more upset and worried about the future right now. That's what the, all these talks are about: is how to prepare, how to save money. You know, you, you know, how to move yourself forward in 2023. We all need to worry about this. 
But the banking situation is absolutely scary. It's it's terrifying to think that these banks don't have money. And uh, I you know, was in a bank that just had a few hundred dollars on a Saturday, but they go, hey, we're closing. Don't take this as a sign that we have a problem. We have under $500 in the bank right now. That That's crazy, guys, when you think about that, and okay? They're starting to slow down loaning money, lending money, which is gonna slow down the velocity of money. That's how money is created. And it's really, we'll get into some of that tomorrow. That's really interesting. I know you-, you No, no, but, but here, here's that. one thing that's, uh, I'll give you one. And that, you know, we talked about this, a contractor who took a deposit and they wanted to put a, uh, a hold on his check of 20 days. And he couldn't do the work because he needed the money to buy materials. Okay, sure. we've all had home improvements done. But another one was a man that put a deposit uh, in his bank and they put a 30 day hold in the deposit and gave him $25 instant credit and the rest was held for 30 days. It's ridiculous, guys. It's complete shenanigans. We're seeing this more and more and it's the last thing we need to have right now. And you need to take this seriously. Get money out of the bank that you can. And again, if you're on a fixed income, you have just a little bit of money, you know, you may have a couple hundred dollars out of the bank. But if you have businesses, if you have rental properties, you're going to have thousands of dollars of the bank. Have it in a safe manner. But here's another warning. Five grand, guys. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand measly dollars. Yeah. And you couldn't get it. And, uh, you know, again, you know, I, I get all these letters now where people are telling me, hey, Dan, what's uh, uh, here's a problem we had. What do you need the money for? This is what the people are getting asked. Six thousand, eight thousand. It's crazy, guys. So they report it if it's over ten. Mm -hmm. And it's it, why is it any of their business? That's the main. That's the real point. Yeah, it doesn't make any zero, sense. Zero. Yeah, unless. Well, so once again, I got more to cover with you guys. But Chris runs the channel, uh, uh, Financial Prepper, and uh, uh, we'll I'll leave a link down there uh, in the video description absolutely. for him as well. Thank you for having but, me on. Yo, but I really appreciate your story because it's absolutely crazy and. You know, you're messaging back and forth with your wife. Again, guys, five grand. Couldn't get it out of the yeah, bank. Yeah, happened today. Yeah, yeah. Sch schedule the appointment, guys. So get ready, okay? But there's a lot more to cover in the video today, guys. Later. Uh, our next speaker is an absolutely zero introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fish. I show up at the carrot party and look who I run into. Some dork with a bunch of cardboard. <laughs> I don't know where it is though. I left my notes somewhere. None other than the economic ninja. Okay, dude. Okay, real quick. Yeah. Because we'll talk later. But uh, everything that's happening right now with England is crazy right now. Okay? Yeah. Or in Japan. In Japan. Yeah. Okay. Which, yeah, I got to give you credit. You called this Thank last you. week before it happened saying that these two superpowers their currency was going to turn to dust. Yep. And uh, we have a real problem right now. So, yeah. The scary thing is, is that I think the euro is next and then the U.S. dollar. So we're finding these dominoes that are knocking over each other right now. And a lot of people did not live through Lehman Brothers as investors. And that's yeah. the thing that's very important. If you weren't as solid, like, I don't mean solid in a bad way, but like you were really entrenched in the markets in 2007, 2008, you don't have that same sense of feeling like, when someone grows up in the mountains and they can smell snow in the air, even though there's not a cloud in the right. sky, you could actually smell the change. It's that feeling. And there's not a lot of people in the space right now that actually were investors back then. So this is actually happening on a greater scale. Yeah, than we're going to live say. through a depressionary time. Right yeah, it's going to be short. It's going to be shorter than the Great Depression, but it will be sharper than the Great Depression is what my Yeah, you're going to have people, companies close. Uh, you're going to have a real estate tank. You're going to see a lot of things happen right now. True. But the thing is, I want people to understand that is actually a good thing because that means opportunity for yes. people. When things go bad, if you're ready for it and positioned right, you're going to pounce and make money. From there this. was thousands of millionaires yeah. made during the Great Depression. There will be billionaires made as a result of what we're going to go through. Absolutely. People that follow our channels and other channels like us, I think it's very important to understand that the uh, mainstream media doesn't want you to understand this because they're selling you the stock as they're running out the doors. So as Jim Cramer is selling bye, 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 I'm the opposite. You know, it's funny. We covered Lehman Brothers last week and somebody sent me that video up until the last day. Yep. It was sick. It really was sick. So, uh, but again, thank you for stopping by. It's always a great Stop to see you. Stopping by. We're going to hang out all and night. <laughs> Come on, let's go crush it. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm afflicted, so I better go. Okay. <laughs> see you guys. So a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about. I am at the Carrot Party. Carrot is a finance app that invited me up to this. And a uh, couple things. 
things that are very serious. Number one, uh, Amazon. Amazon just closed a distribution center in Florida. Now, here's the story. They did it last week. They did it before the hurricane. This has nothing to do with weather. This has nothing to do with uh, anything that's happening with uh, Hurricane Ian at all. This is something to do with they know that the writing's on the wall and that sales are down and that they completely got rid of this distribution center. The mayor of Pembroke, Florida was upset because he's like, we've just been told that this place is closed for renovations and that's it. Well, with the hurricane, there's gonna be a lot of renovations, but this is sad because a lot of people have lost their job and it's kind of gone under the radar. Now, the next big company to talk about right now is Apple. The latest Apple iPhone 14 comes out and the demand is soft. That's a very telling sign in the marketplace, guys, because there are people out there that are so loyal to products and Apple is one of them. The newest iPhone comes out, they get the new iPhone. That is not happening right now. People are sticking with their old technology and I don't need the new one. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to finance it. It's, it's crazy, guys, right now. So we're seeing a lot of things like this right now. And, uh, you know, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. It is crazy to hear all the stories about, uh, you know, like that like the Chris told me from Financial Prepper and all these different stories we're getting from the banking uh, industry and how people are having nothing but problems and running to the economic ninja was nice. But uh, there's a lot more to cover, guys. We are starting to see a lot more problems with banking and Donna, you know, follows the channel. She wanted to buy silver. She found a reputable silver company and had a problem because they wanted a wire transfer and she banks with Wells Fargo Bank. So she contacts Wells Fargo Bank uh, over the phone. They say, oh, you can't do this over the phone. You gotta come to a branch. So she goes to her local branch, drives there, Oh, we can't do wire transfers from here. You have to do it uh, at another branch. Uh, do you have the app? You can probably do it from the app. She downloads the app, and sure enough, uh, they don't, you know, you can't do a wire transfer from the app, so she just drives to a second branch to do this, just to get the wire transfer done. And again, guys, you're seeing more and more and more of this, okay? Michael banks with First National Bank of Omaha. Michael, you know, follows the advice of the channel and paid off all his credit cards. But, you know, he has certain cards he use every month for the points, travel, things like that, and pays them off. Well, he had one card that he hadn't used since July. No big deal. So he's sitting there thinking, okay, I'll just use it. Gets a letter from First National Bank of Omaha that says, hey, we noticed you haven't used the card in 30 days. 30 days, guys. If you don't use the card, we're going to uh, uh, cancel the card. So please uh, go out and use the card. Crazy. Absolutely nuts right now, guys, that you're seeing this. So this is happening more and more and more right now. And it's just a matter of time until you're going to have more and more banks put this 30-day clause on people. So, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking about this. This is absolutely crazy. This place is packed absolutely jumping <clears throat> let's see if we can walk away from it a little bit we're seeing some international stories that are kind of funny but the one that popped out was the pop singer Shakira Shakira is being charged with tax fraud in Spain and she says hey I paid all my taxes and you guys are crazy. In fact, I paid $3 million more in interest than I should have. And they're saying no, that she owes 14 and a half million euros, which is about $13.9 million, uh, according to the tax authority in Spain. And they want her to stand trial. So Shakira's going to trial next month on tax fraud. She's a pop singer. She did the uh, halftime entertainment show with uh, JLo and she could face eight years in prison right now for this. Absolutely crazy, guys. It's just, it's unbelievable that it's that much. But again, you know, uh, they want their money and uh, it, it's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm gonna walk through the trade show booths. Kind of dead right now. But the next thing, <clears throat> just in time for the holidays, we've got Home Depot, Best Buy, and a lot of other major retailers. Lowe's is thinking about doing this as well. 
where they're going to lock up all the major merchandise. Where you're going to walk up and you're going to grab a coupon code card and say, I want to buy this drill. I want to buy this. Think of the space that they're going to have to have. Think of the manpower they're going to have to have. Think of the delay. Oh, I want to look at the drill. Oh, it's not the right size. It's not the one. Oh, is that the 14 volt motor and not the 18 volt motor? Okay. Think of the problems that you're going to have with this. It's just going to delay commerce. And again, retail's dead right now, guys. It's got such a problem, but you're seeing this being done. Oh, look at this big meeting room. Nobody in it. So I like all the, the YouTube symbols and stuff that they've got. So needless to say, guys, there is not, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you have that be to your advantage when it comes to retail? So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this works out for Christmas. I think it's an absolute disaster. And uh, one thing that Bank of America is doing, let's change the subject a little bit back to bank, and we keep going back and forth to banking in this video, is Bank of America is going to have a QR code uh, now to log into your bank that's available. Now, guys, I'm telling you, you know, you go to a restaurant and, hey, sit down. We don't have printed menus anymore. Take a photo of this and it'll pop up the QR code. Like, take a look at this. Take a photo of this. Put your, put your camera on the screen and take a photo of that. That takes you to the mobile I allegedly site. That's what they're going to do for Bank of America. How is that remotely secure, guys? I do not, for the life of me, understand how that's secure in any way, shape, or form. So this is going to be really, really interesting to see how this works out. Everything right now is a, is a potential scam and a potential uh, you know, uh, computer hack. I don't know how this is secure. I mean, think about it. You take an image and it takes you to my website. How it's not anything. It's not secure. It's just a website. Instead of you having to punch everything in, you take a photo of it. Well, what's this going to do? How is this going to be more secure when it comes to Bank of America? So share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. It'll be very interesting to see how this stuff plays out in the future. You know, one thing that you have to look at is what's happening in England right now. The Bank of England is trying to play games to prop up the British pound. And Ray Dalio, who owns the world's largest hedge fund, steps forward and says, this is an absolute disaster. And uh, he called it a fiscal blunder. He said that they are completely incompetent at the Bank of England right now, and that what they're doing is ridiculous and will not work. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that here you've got, you know, the two-year bond at its highest level in 14 years, 14 years and the British pound dropping in value. And now the Bank of England's talking you know, about tax cuts or talking about making all these fiscal changes like it's going to make a huge difference. And it is not gonna make a bit of difference. And Ray Dalio is just incensed with it. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this stuff catches up with these people, trying to walk away from all the noise for you guys. So let me move a little bit away. You know, lately we've talked so much about banking security and and uh, bank fraud and things like that. Uh, Michael got a letter from his bank, Ledyard Bank, that said, hey, we're changing our website from Ledyard Bank to Ledyard.Bank. And it's going to be so much more secure because we're going to use the dot .Bank symbol. And uh, I've never heard of this, guys. Have you guys heard of this? So. I don't get it at all to save my life. And one thing I talked about earlier this week was uh, how Walmart was accepting these returns. You know, it's disgusting that people would use a bike and take it back at the end of summer and get their money. Well, David was a past employee at Walmart and he said it was absolutely disgusting. He said, again, people would bring back torn clothes, uh, you know, dresses that they wore, uh, you know, broken tables, things like that, that you know that these people use and just needed money. The majority of these people, he said, was so disgusting, they would then take uh, the money that was given, oh, I don't want to store credit, I want cash, and then spend it on food right there. So absolutely crazy, guys. So share your thoughts and all this stuff. I don't think that the banking problems are going to go away. I think that they're going to get much worse. All I keep hearing about is how people are having issues with getting cash out of the bank. It's going to get, get much, much worse, guys, before it gets better. So share your thoughts on all this stuff. 
it's amazing who you run into. I don't know. Like, you, baby. <laughs> it's amazing who you run into. What's up, man? <laughs> I love when these guys are renting these scooters to uh, go to their hotel. So, LeBron James is going to buy a professional pickleball team. Do you care about that? Does that interest you? You know, pickleball is growing uh, throughout the nation, and he wants to own, you know, a professional pickleball team out of Texas. Who cares? I, I could care less. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. I think it looks like, uh, you know, you know, mini badminton as far as I'm concerned. You guys play this? You think it's great? Pickleball. Okay. Share your thoughts on that. Next thing is General Motors. You'll like this, guys. General Motors called everybody back to work next week. Hey, October 1st, everybody's back to work. They revolted. All the employees revolted. They had told their employees that they needed to come to the office three days a week. And they said, no, not going to do it. Not going to do it at all. So, you know, kind of fascinating that they just stood up to them and said that they're not going to tolerate this. And it's over with. General Motors succumbed in two days and said, okay, you don't have to come back to the office now. Now, um, I get a kick out of this. I'm at the conference and uh, all these YouTubers, and they've got their Corvettes. Oh, let me show you guys, I'm in the parking lot. All this ridiculous stuff that you don't need in this world, okay? So, you gotta park it up front, park it up front, because I'm cool, I've got a million subs. Anyways. <clears throat> kind of ridiculous guys so General Motors these people stood up to them and uh, that's not the case you know it's not gonna they're not going back to work so here's the, the Lamborghini out here and again guys oh, I'm so impressed anyways final thing is Cracker Barrel Cracker Barrel you know the roadside you know comfort food restaurant that you get in the south and they've got you know the country store and everything you can go there they just announced that their earnings are off and that they see the biggest uh, uh, uh the biggest amount of customers that are not coming to the store right now or to the restaurant are seniors right now they cannot afford the gas they cannot afford the inflationary spike that they're living through right now guys this is it this is this is the kiss of death right now and this is what's happening to where Guys, it's, it's getting much more serious by the week. You know, I don't care where the stock market's at. People cannot afford the inflationary spike that we're living through right now. And uh, it's only getting worse. So share your thoughts and everything, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And please, uh, you know, we've got the email list you can sign up for. The link is below. And... Uh, what else? Onward and upward, guys. I will see you soon. This conference has been absolutely amazing. I met so many great people, and a lot of cool things are going to happen with the channel over the course of uh, the next few months. Okay? I will see you guys very soon.